welcome to another weekly update from myself, Sarah Lean. So let's touch on some Azure news and this week we've had announcements around VNet peering support within Azure Bastion. Now I think this actually happened maybe at the tail end of last week when I was off or the start of this week when I was off but it's actually a pretty cool announcement. So if you're not aware of what Azure Bastion is, it's a jump box service that allows you to kind of um, control how people access your virtual machines um, and rather than you maintaining that jump box so rather than you having a server with you know a server operating system installed and you having to patch it having to manage space etc and um, we take care of that infrastructure at Microsoft and provide you that jump box service um, now previously you were only able to use the, the vnet the, the Azure Bastion box within one vnet so if you had multiple vnets you had to have multiple Azure Bastions in order to interact with the virtual machines that were in each of those vnets but now if your vnets have um, vnet peering um, in place your azure bastion box now supports um, using that peering and can actually connect to um, virtual machines that are not in the peer vnet that it's deployed in um, and now this will help people streamline and maybe save some costs around the azure bastion service deployments and also give you maybe a bit more scalability maybe a bit more availability of your azure bastion services and not have people um, kind of fighting over them as well so um, definitely a pretty cool announcement. Now the next bit of news that I want to talk about is maybe a bit of a minor announcement for some people and maybe people fight this but we had additional regions get support for um, log analytics and application insights um, and I'll post a link to which regions actually got all of that because there's quite a few but I always think that these announcements are quite key to adoption for a lot of customers. Customers that have um, restrictions on where they can send data, where they can store data, um, it might be within their own country. And if we aren't providing the services um, around things like log analytics and application insights in their region, in their country, then it can actually be an adoption blocker. And I have seen that for some customers here in the UK. So although these are t kind of minor announcements, they are quite critical to a lot of people's adoption within the cloud and moving some services and workloads into Azure. Now, in terms of me, I have been off this week. I have been um, enjoying some downtime, much needed downtime to try and recharge the batteries. Um, but I'm glad to be back. I um, have scheduled in some pretty cool um, projects and have been talking to a lot of my teammates and catching up with them um, with things that are going on. So lots of fun things happening, lots of um, projects that I didn't expect to be involved in before the end of the year. I had hoped I would be able to um, catch up on some other things and do some admin over the last um, six six or seven weeks that are remaining in this calendar year but um, it looks like I'm going to have some um, exciting projects to work on instead so um, yeah <laughs> not quite the kind of rundown towards um, my Christmas holidays that I had expected but it will keep me busy um, especially since we are back in a lockdown here in the area that I live in Scotland so nothing else to do except work and um, lounge in front of the TV. Um, something I did notice um, when I was checking the news earlier on was a school in Scotland um, at Stirling High School actually had a pretty cool technology project um, and it's probably in the developer side of things but some high school students coded and designed this algorithm that we use freely available satellite images um, to look for new penguin col uh, colonies. Um, so I think they were inspired by a David Attenborough um, programme and how you know penguins are maybe an endangered species or their numbers are, are going down. So what they did was use technology to actually look for new colonies. And do you know what? They found a new emperor penguin colony that scientists and, and you know experts hadn't found before and have actually verified. So I think it's pretty cool that the teenagers and people at high school are using technology to try and um, you know do do some cool things to help us around climate change and wildlife um, issues and yeah hopefully it'll inspire a few of them maybe to go into IT um, albeit maybe being developers um, but yeah it's pretty cool to see them actually using technology and, and inspiring them at an early age which like I said will hopefully encourage them to go um, into IT as a career and um, that's a project that I am pretty um, 
uh, passionate about. I definitely want more people to be into IT, definitely want more women in IT, definitely want more people going into the infrastructure side of things within IT, but it's always cool to hear that um, technology is inspiring the next generation. Now, I need to go as I have things to prep um, because I am co-hosting the AZ Update show with Anthony later today, so be sure to tune in to us. I'll put a link in one of the corners um, to tune into that show later on today, or if you're watching this after the live show has went out, you'll be available on record and you can watch Anthony and I have a bit of banter um, back and forth on the live show with each other and the rest of the audience, so yeah. Um, Stay safe, everybody, and have a good week, weekend even, and I will catch you next week. Mm -hmm.